It's Friday, July 27th, and your stories today are MetaMask, Vietnam officials ban crypto activities, and the SEC rejects the Winklevoss twins. Hello world, you are watching the comment right here on Eve the News. For your first story, published yesterday on Medium, MetaMask's retrospective addressed the team's thoughts and concerns regarding the extension's temporary removal from the Chrome Web Store, the status of the situation, and issues to consider going forward. The MetaMask crew initially learned of the delisting when a team member noticed the extension's absence from the Web Store. Upon further investigation, the team found that there were a few lookalikes available to download. Despite emailing Google about the problem, the organization did not receive a prompt response, but apparently the email they sent to Google did not go through. Kevin Serrano, the author of the Medium Post, said that this situation presented a few immediate concerns, phishing updates and new installs. Because of these concerns and no word from Google, MetaMask prepared for the worst possible scenario and spread the news over social media. According to Serrano, the removal was done in error and the team was able to resolve the issue before 1 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time on Wednesday. As for now, operations are back to normal with MetaMask. And in other news, according to an announcement made by the State Securities Commission in Vietnam earlier this week, the country's security regulator has forbidden public companies, security companies, fund management companies, and security investment funds from engaging, quote, in any issuance, transaction, or brokerage activities related to cryptocurrencies, unquote. This latest ban could be in response to a directive issued earlier in April to several different government agencies by Vietnam's Prime Minister, who urged these governmental departments to take a more active role in enforcing rules and regulations involving crypto after approximately 32,000 investors reportedly lost $658 million in crypto after investing in two different ICOs that turned out to be scams. The State Bank of Vietnam banned commercial banks and payment service providers from completing transactions involving crypto over fear of money laundering, terrorism financing, and tax evasion during the first part of April. And finally, Bitcoin-linked exchange-traded funds were hit with another setback on Thursday as the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission announced that it disapproved of a proposed rule change associated with the Winklevoss Bitcoin Trust. Earlier this week, the agency postponed a decision on New York Stock Exchange ARCA's proposed rule change to list directions Bitcoin-tied ETFs. But don't worry, Winklevoss twins. The week is not a total loss. Mark Zuckerberg lost $15 million yesterday. I know you're happy about that one. That's our comment for the day, but what do you think about MetaMask being operational? Why does Vietnam's Prime Minister hate crypto so much? And whose side are you on, Winklevoss or Zuckerberg? Let me know what you think. Have a wonderful day. And as always, don't forget to leave a comment. Join me back here on the comment as I catch you up on the latest in Ethereum and blockchain. If you like this episode, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. If you didn't like this episode, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Make sure you get all the newest episodes of the comment as they air by clicking that alert button. That's that bell looking thing next to the word subscribe. If you miss our latest episodes, you can catch up on ethnews.com or on YouTube or just subscribe so you don't miss them anymore, silly. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at ethnewsy. That's at ethnewsci. And we'll see you next time.